read again. Joe, a regular customer. The chief of police is always late, so he makes me late. So you can understand, I can't put my foot down on the gas with him in the car. Then, sometimes, he has two motorbike escorts just to show off. I don't understand why the chief has to ride in your cab all the time. Why doesn't he use his own car? The city has made huge cutbacks, so they no longer have any police vehicles anymore. Which reminds me, they're going to do a big raid and want to borrow your truck again to hold all the prisoners. Again? They haven't removed all the prisoners from the last raid! Hey, give it down out there! We're all driving down Lombard Street! Well, it doesn't matter that I'm late. What's important is the news I have to tell you. Remember how you always wanted to be a plumber to the stars? Yes, just once in my life, I wanted to have a big celebrity job. Plunging out Alec Baldwin's John, or running my snake through Madonna's pipes. And I also know a big dream of yours was to have a plumbing problem so unusual you could brag about it to all your plumbing friends. Whenever we get together at the plumbing conventions, everyone is all, Oh, you'll never guess what I took out of the drain this time. Well, this morning at the airport, I picked someone up. A celebrity? No, but someone who was connected to a celebrity. And they were telling me about this famous person they knew who had a plumbing problem so weird, so completely unique, that no one could solve it. And they were desperate for help. So don't keep me in suspense. Who was the celebrity? And how were they connected to the person in your cab? And, more importantly, what was this once-in-a-lifetime plumbing emergency? Okay, it was Steve Wells. Who? You've heard of H.G. Wells? Oh, yeah. Him. Oh, wow. What a list of women he had. Oh, and he wrote some books. Hmm. First novel was The Time Machine. Actually, it was his last. Huh? He doesn't start writing it for another 5,000 years or so. What? Mm, you see, Steve told me he's H.G.'s great, 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 or uh, whatever, nephew. Uh -oh. In 1922, Einstein visited the college where H.G. studied. And, well, to cut a long story short, they went out drinking and came back the previous evening with a hangover and a for real time machine. Uh -oh. Plus, H.G. had written his novel, Al had his theory of relativity, and they both agreed to publish about 20 years earlier. You've lost me. Anyway, they need a plumber for the pipework on H.G.'s next generation time machine. You what? Yes or no? <laughs> ah, Joe, it's now the 23rd century. How am I going to get to work? 23rd century, and my work's back in time. Ha ha ha, by the same way, of course, and you'll hardly know you've been away.